We are in Dugway, Utah at the Department of Defense Utah Test and Training Range. And this is where the final end game of OSIRIS-REx plays out. The sample return capsule, which contains that precious asteroidal material from Bennu, will be landing here on September 24th, 2023. The day actually starts really early in the morning and the center of activity is Denver, Colorado, where the spacecraft command team is based. And there's a critical decision at 2 a.m., go, no, go. Are we releasing the capsule or are we in a situation where we have to hang on to it and delay the sample return by two years? And of course, it was a nominal exercise, so it was a go. And then there's a whole series of commands and operations that happen to the spacecraft, ultimately releasing the capsule where it hits the top of the atmosphere about four hours later. That's when the field team activates. We arrive here at the Michael Army Airfield and we get into our helicopters and we fly off to just outside what we call the landing ellipse, the area that is most likely where the capsule is going to touch down on the ground. And then we wait until we get confirmation that we can see the parachute opening up and then the military will track it all the way to the ground and they'll tell us where it's located, at which case the helicopter team flies out to the site. We do a visual inspection. The safety officer gets out there and makes sure since we're on a military testing ground, there's no things we need to stay away from for our own safety. And then of course, is the capsule healthy and is it safe for the humans to approach it? Once the Lockheed Martin recovery technicians got the SRC, the sample return capsule, bagged up and secured, they got it attached to the long line for transport back to the clean room. Meanwhile, the environmental sampling team continued with their work and, and paused just for a second so that the helicopter could take off. They went and started their first steps of the procedure, which was to mark a safe approach path to the SRC, take some air samples, and then also flag where they want to get soil scoops from the path that the SRC rolled on the ground. I'm really thrilled about how well everything went and this is what we do on OSIRIS-REx. We bring all of this wonderful expertise, these great team members together. We work really hard to get the procedure correct, and then we practice, practice, practice until it's perfect. And that is why we've been so successful on OSIRIS-REx, and I'm confident we have the tools and the procedures and the right people for sample return.